Poppin' or wow, that was stupid. What's cracking? <coughs> today we're gonna be adding another installment to our competitive encyclopedia. Um, today we're gonna be looking at checks and counters. Checks and counters are a very important part of understanding competitive play. And unfortunately, a lot of players mix up what is a check, what is a counter, and use them interchangeably when they are in fact in no way the same thing. And knowing the difference will be a really giant asset to anybody who can really completely understand what the difference is. So let me try to delve into what that difference is right now, okay? So a check. Okay, let's start with a counter. A counter is a Pokemon that reliably can, can reliably switch in to a Pokemon's standard sets. Yeah, reliably switch in and then proceed to beat that Pokemon or hard wall it. Just essentially, for all intents and purposes, <coughs> make that Pokemon useless. Either through death or through... Uh, getting beat, or getting walled, or whatever. But a, a, that's what a counter is. A Pokemon that can reliably switch in. Now, not all counters can switch in multiple times. When a counter can't switch in multiple times, or can't effectively switch into some gim gimmick gear sets, gimmick gear sets, I guess, uh, we call that a pseudo counter. Now, this differs from a check, because a check almost definitely can never switch in. A check cannot switch in, because... Or, or very rarely can switch in, I should say, because checks and pseudo counters are sometimes similar, but a check generally cannot switch in because they are do fear that Pokemon to some extent. But a check can come in on a free switch, be that through a Pokemon fainting or a slow U-turn volt switch, come in and threaten that Pokemon and beat it reliably in a one-on-one -on -one situation. That's what you have to know. That a check is a Pokemon that can beat a Pokemon one-on-one -on -one but cannot switch in. A poke and a, a counter is a Pokemon that can switch in and then proceed to beat the Pokemon one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. All right, so without further ado, let's get into my examples today. Today's video, I'm going to be uh, looking at Azumarill as an example. So we, here we've got the three most common sets for Azumarill, um, those being the Choice Band, the Assault Vest, and the Citrus Berry sets. Um, banded, banded Azumarill, you know, uh, Choice Band, Waterfall, this is a Wall Breaker type set. Um, assault Vest is a tankier set. Um, and then Belly Drum is the Belly Jet uh, sweeper slash cleaner set. Um, so if we start, so if we continue looking on, we look at true counters. Venusaur is the one true, complete, whole counter to Azumarill. Um, there is no move that Azumarill can run that can ever beat Venusaur. Venusaur will always be able to switch into Azumarill and will always be able to beat it one on one. Um, that's so. That's that's important to know for strategies around Azumarill when you're team building. And these these come in, understand encounters and checks comes in very handy both in the play in the battlefield and off the battlefield during the team building process because you know how to build good cores. That's why Azumarill really appreciates Pokemon like Latios and Latias who can beat Venusaur or Gothitelle, but when they can beat Venusaur because Venusaur is the one true counter for Azumarill. But true counters, yeah. If we continue on, we look at pseudo counters. Amoongus, Agron, Mega Agron, Tentacruel, and Ferrothorn are all pseudo counters. Pseudo counters are going to be Pokemon that can beat um, Azumarill in general one on one, but cannot always or effectively do it. Like, for example, Amoongus will get beat by Azumarill if by Belly Jet Azumarill if Belly Jet Azumarill has already set up. Um, same thing goes for Tentacruel. Uh, both of these struggle against the Belly Jet set post setup, but will be able to beat the any other variant quite efficiently, which is what you've got to know. Agron, Mega Agron, um, will be able to beat a lot of variants, but can easily get overwhelmed with a Belly Jet superpower. Um, again, so these all, both, all three of these kind of fall prey to the Belly Jet set, um, and are only situationally a counter. Of course, that situation being non Belly Jet sets and Belly Jet prior to boosting up. Um, if we look on, Ferrothorn is another pseudo counter. Ferrothorn is pretty much walls all sets of Azumarill, and unless the Azumarill is running superpower. Superpower, of course, being the one way that Ferrothorn becomes not a wall, rather a liability when fighting Azumarill, um, which is why it's a super counter. It counters a majority of sets, but cannot counter all, um, and that's something that you've got to figure out what set is Azumarill running. Which are why pseudo counters are kind of the more are played more situationally. Is that a true counter will be able to switch in regardless of the set, um, 
a true a situational counter like a, a pseudo counter will be able to switch in effectively once you know it's set um, depending on the set so you should really try to figure out the set next we're gonna look at checks again checks are Pokemon that can switch in can't switch in but can come in uh, after a free switch and beat the Pokemon one-on-one -on -one. so these are four examples of checks to mega uh, to Azumarill, Mega Manectric um, is going to be able to do a lot of damage to Azumarill, especially with Intimidate and beat it, but it can't switch in on a lot of Play Rough or Waterfalls. Um, it can't really switch in. It looks like they're going to do some really crazy damage. I think Waterfall plus Aqua Jet, even after Intimidate, might kill um, on the Assault Vest that I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Breloom, again, it, Sash Breloom will be able to do a lot of damage. Bullet Seed will knock out Azumarill, and Aqua Jet won't be able to kill back. Um, and Aqua Jet, Belly, this is a pretty good stop to a Belly Jet. Running rampant if you can come with the sash intact because bullets he will kill and belly jet will not kill the breloom. Superior again will be able to can't switch into a play rough. None of these Pokemon can switch into play roughs. Superior can't switch into a play rough. Might be able to switch into a water type move, but from there we'll definitely be able to kill uh, with a super powerful leaf storm. Um, and then finally, physically defensive Zapdos will be able to check and come in on most Azumarill variants, but um, will on a free switch, but won't be able to switch in because. Azumarill will be doing too much damage to it, and it probably will get the 2 it KO, um, meaning that Zapdos is pretty much useless, because Thunderbolt will not be getting an Oko on uh, Azumarill. So, that's kind of what you need to know about checks and counters. Know that they are different. Please don't mix them up. The, knowing the difference between these two is very important, in both in the team building process and the competitive process. Um, and if you can understand how, when to bring in checks, how to bring in checks, when to bring encounters, how to bring encounters, like and understand the nuances of that. It's going to really be a really giant asset to any competitive player. Um, that said, checks counters are used a lot more by balanced teams and stall teams. It, counters are a more defensive concept. Checks are a more offensive concept. Checks rely on forcing the Pokemon out a lot of the time. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. That you're going to see a lot of Offensive teams will be utilizing checks, while a lot of defensive teams will be utilizing counters more so. Um, Alright, well, I hope that video was helpful. Um, I think I touched on all the topics I want to touch. One last thing I want to say, actually, is Pokemon po two Pokemon cannot counter each other. That's called, when two Pokemon do counter each other, what happens is something called PP stall, which I'm sure we all have experiences with that are very unfortunate. But that's what happens when two Pokemon counter each other. Um, there's very rare instances of that, which is why PP stall doesn't happen very often, obviously. Um, it's, that's a very rare thing to occur. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that was helpful. Uh, Kraken Nation out.